Welcome to Calisthenics Kids, episode number 26. For today's lesson, you're going to need a few pairs of shoes or at least something as a marker, and you're going to need a ball of some kind. Doesn't have to be small, can be whatever ball you've got access to. Today's lesson, we're going to be bouncing like a gazelle. We're going to learn some jumping and landing skills. But before we get to that, let's start with a warm up. So we're going to start with our monkey, and I want you to imagine you're kicking a can over um, which is far away from you. So for our monkey, we're going to land one, two, three, then kick that can and slide across. Okay, so let's try that again. So we're going to land one, two, three, kick the can, slide across. And we'll try this on the other side as well in a second. If this is easy, then I want you to generate more height and try and kick further as you slide across. So last one on this side. So one, two, three and kick. Now let's try that from the other side. Imagine that one hand is coming over the top and if you don't generate much height, at least show me a spin near the end. So one, two, three and kick, slide. And we're gonna do one more on this side. So one, two, three and kick and slide. Next thing we're going to go into is our horse walk. So let's see who can remember those. So what we're going to do is we're almost going to imagine we're kicking our leg as far out to the side, slide across, bring your feet together. So slide across, bring your feet together, slide across. If you're really skilled, see if you can get your hands as close to the floor as possible. Slide across, and can we do this? going backwards. I'm going to keep my hands in the middle at all times just to make it easier for me. Okay, now what we're going to do is test our balance skills. So as you slide across, try and keep your toes on the floor as little as possible. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to slide across like I'm doing a big step over, gently pick up those toes, and if I'm able to, I'm going to try and bring that leg all the way over here, but being on one leg as long as possible. So I'm here, picking up my toes. Can I pick the foot up? Can I bring it across? So now I'm working my balance as well. So stepping over, make my toes as light as possible, and then step. Excellent job. Now who remembers the airplane from a couple of lessons back? Let's have a look at that. So, big chest at the front, thumbs up at the front, and pick one leg up. That's stage one. Now, as my heel comes back, I'm going to see if I can bring my chest forward. Now if that feels easy, I'm going to see if I can balance, I'm going to bring that foot in so you can see it, I'm going to see if I can balance and turn out to the side. Then can I get my chest facing down? So this is easier, keeping your leg out longer is harder. And then back to the front, shake it off. This is going to be harder barefoot, so if you want to challenge yourself, that's how. So again, easy, hard, I want to make it even easier, I just hold on to something, maybe mum and dad's hand. So big chest at the front, and then from this position, heel and head, and then if I want to play around that foot position I can, can I turn out and stay balanced? Again, not the easiest thing to do. Let's try, this time we're going to try our frogger, but we're going to jump up and land on one leg. So you pick whichever leg you want, but when you land it, I want you to hold it for three seconds. Let's see how good we can make this. So land on two, jump up to land on one. So here's my frogger. I'm on two legs, and then I'm going to jump up and land on one. So I'm going to pick my left leg, which for me is this one. I know it might seem the other way around to you. So I'm going to jump up, land on one leg. Can you hold it? Two. One, excellent, and I'm gonna swap legs. Now, don't worry if your frogger looks like this, that's fine. We're just working with whatever level we're at. I'm gonna jump up and land on this leg. So jump up and land. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna go back to landing on this leg. Again, if you find this easy, push through the floor to make it harder. See how much height you can generate. So I'm gonna land on this leg this time. Three, two, one, jump up as high as you can, and then, can you stay balanced? Okay, 
and I'm going to land on this leg next time. So can we generate any height? Push to the floor, land. This time I'm going to land on this leg. Three, two, one, explode up. A nice and soft landing. If we're wobbling all about, let's try and slow things down a little bit. Okay, next thing we're going to do is work on our top drop and hops. Who can remember that? So we're going to be tall up top. We're going to drop into this almost, I like to call this the Ronaldo position, or it can just be our athletic position. So we're going to be tall up top, drop, and then what I want you to do is you're going to jump up and land on one leg. So you can jump in any direction, but you just got to be still on the landing. So tall up top, drop, and then jump and land on one leg. Doesn't matter where you are, can you stay balanced? If you find it easy, show me a bit of a spin in the air. Tall up top, drop, can I spin and hold? Maybe I can get more spin than that. Tall up, drop, can I get more spin? Can I hold? Can I explore my different areas of balance? Now what we're gonna do is a top drop and hop. So this time, I'm gonna reach up for the stars, and as I come down, I'm just gonna throw my weight back. So opposite arm, opposite leg. You pick whichever leg you want, and then we're gonna hop somewhere else in the room. So, tall up top, drop, and then can we hop somewhere else? So don't worry about the distance, just show me that you can hold it and stay still. It's almost like you're frozen in time and space. Tall up top, drop, Hop. When you hop, it doesn't have to necessarily be the same leg. It can be whatever you want. Just show me you can stay still. Can you challenge yourself? So tall up top, drop, and then can I find somewhere else? Good job. Now we're going to need the shoes or that I mentioned at the start and some form of ball. Again, these don't have to be shoes. They can just be some form of marker, but I'm going to use them just because they're what I've got available. Now what I want you to do is you're going to keep the ball, you're going to stand in the centre with the ball, which is similar to yesterday's challenge. So all you're going to do, I'm still on my left leg, I'm just going to see if I'm going to take the ball to the outside of the shoes like so. If I can, then what I'm going to do, still staying on one leg, pick up one of the shoes on the inside and place it on the other side of the ball. So give yourself a little bit of distance. Now what I want you to see is can you bring that ball back to the center and can you roll the ball so we're testing our balance skills onto the other side of these shoes you'll see what i'm doing in a second so let's place that there okay now swap legs now what i want you to do on your other leg and i'm just going to move these back so you can see is i want to see if you can dribble in and out of all of these shoes in a kind of figure of eight pattern. So just to show you what that looks like, I'm still on my right foot. I'm gonna go in these ones. I'm gonna go around this one here. If you've placed them too far, feel free to readjust. I'm gonna come back through. Oh! Okay, so that's half of my figure eight. Then I'm gonna come in between these two. Again, you can change the position of your leg. So if, like me, you might have made this a little bit difficult for yourself. I'm still gonna carry on. Okay, if I'm really struggling, then I can adjust the position of my shoe. So we're working some different kinds of balances. Okay, so I've fallen off there, I failed, that's fine. We're just gonna see if we can try this on the other leg. So, if I adjust my body and I'm lower to the ground, how much easy can I do this? If this is easy for you, Try and look forwards and just use your feet to feel where the ball is. And in fact, just to make it easier, if you want to switch legs by the time you end up in this position, then that's fine, as long as you can show me a figure of eight. So, we've, I've had a practice go, now I'm gonna let you try, and we're gonna do this together. So you're allowed to switch legs. All I wanna see is can you take that ball in a sidewards figure of eight. So let's try that. How quickly can I go in a sidewards figure of eight? So I'm on one leg. 
can I adjust my body position to get that ball around? Now, if you've got a bigger ball that you're using, you might find this easier, smaller balls harder. You can swap legs whenever you feel like you're starting to struggle. But I want you to try and get as far as you can on one leg only. Oh, I might actually get this done. So it is possible to do it completely on one leg and swap over. So it is possible. You just need to change your body position. You might need some outside help and maybe I'll make this a challenge at some point. So this side, I might struggle. You might find one side's easier than the other and then just swap over. If you're doing this in pairs, get competitive. See you can do it in the quickest amount of time. See you can do it with the most amount of control. Maybe you can do it without looking down at the ball. Even better if you can. Okay, so what I have now is some little markers for me to hop across. So I might go out of picture a little bit. So I'm gonna be here. All we're gonna do to start off with is just hop over the shoe and I want you to hold it for two seconds. And you might even need to use your arms a bit. So remember we're opposite arm, opposite leg and hold and hold, and last one, and hold. Okay, relax there. Now what I want to see you do, this is a mini break before we go into the other leg, is can we go from this position, so I'm here, and almost like we're swimming as we come forward. If you need to use hands on the floor, it's fine. So almost like we're swimming, and then we're ended up in this position here. If that's difficult for you, put your hands on the floor, and maybe hold something in front of you. So I've got a sofa just out of shot. So can we pick ourselves up without needing to use something? If we have to, that's fine. And then what I want you to do is you're going to pull yourself into this position. You're going to jump as high as you can, but I want you to catch yourself as high as you can. So what I mean by that is jump as high as you can, but then you're going to try and freeze at the tallest point. So if I'm here and I jump really high, if I can catch myself there, brilliant. So as soon as you hit the floor, so let me show you from this side, I'll move these in a second. So firstly, can I pull myself into this position here, jump as high as I can, and then catch. So catching ourselves with a soft knee bend. Let's try that a couple more times. So swim myself to here, explode up, and then when you get to the floor, it should be nice and quiet. So can I swim up, jump up, hold. Excellent. Okay. Now we're back in the middle, we're back in the game. So I hopped over with, I think it was my left foot. Now I'm gonna try with my right foot. So I'm gonna start on my, this will be slightly harder. I'm gonna do this in all directions. So I'm on the left hand side using my right foot. So can I hold? Can I hold? Oh, testing our balance. And again, and if we're really good, we might be able to do this while still standing straight forward. Don't worry if you can't. So there's your three levels. So your first level is um, just hopping over it. Again, if you need to hop slightly in front, so if you need to just use the markers as lines, that's fine, that's level one. Level two, hopping over and holding. Level three, hopping over, holding, staring straight ahead the whole time. So now I'm gonna go on the other side. So I'm just gonna lean in so I'm here. And hold, test your balance. I don't want you to hop until you found your balance. So that's why we've done so much balance work beforehand. Okay, shake it off. And now I'm gonna swap onto my right side, going this way. So by the time we finish this, we've done both feet in both directions. Okay, and hold. Freeze in that position. How quiet can you be? Can it be like we never moved at all? Almost like we're a ninja, getting those arms going as well. And hold. Okay, have a rest. Right, for today's... Now, the next thing we're going to do, I want you to move and clear yourself a space. So this time what I want you to do is whatever area you're using, so I'm going to use the area of this mat, I'm going to give you a number. Or in fact, if depending on what size you're working with, you can pick your own number. But you're going to pick a number, and that number is how many hops you've got to get to the end point. 
So the idea isn't that you're hopping in the least amount, but just can you modify your uh, distance. So I'm gonna go from five to start off with, and I'm gonna be on my left leg. So I need to get to the end in five hops, no more, no less. So, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna try and stay in shot here, five. Okay, now your turn. You can either try five, or you can pick a different number. And make sure you swap legs. So now let me try five on this leg. So I'm gonna go five. Make sure you're using your arms as well to balance. Four, and I'm gonna try and make sure I stay in shot. Three, two, one. Excellent job. Okay, now what happens, how will we have to change how we hop if we take it down to say three? So can I stay balanced? So one, two, watch what I'm doing with my arms. Three, anybody manage that? Okay, now we do three on the other leg. Okay, so one, two, three. Now you don't have to get as low as I'm getting, I'm just making sure you can still see me in the shot. So now I'm gonna try and do that in two. And this time I'm gonna use two feet and see if I can do it in two. So here's the length of my mat. And I'm gonna see if I can clear this in two, but making sure I freeze in each position. Okay, so one, two. Now you don't have to go as low as me, I'm just trying to stay in shot. Okay, now I'm gonna try each time I land, I'm gonna jump up as well. So I'm gonna come forward and then go up. So I'm still gonna try and do it in two. So forward, up, forward, up. Okay, last thing we're gonna do to test our balance before we get onto today's movement challenge is we're gonna need a sofa or a step or a chair, something that you can get a little bit of height on. Make sure you ask mum and dad first. So all we're gonna do from here is step, and then I want you to land on one leg with as little wobble as possible. The higher this is, the harder it's gonna be for you. So just bear that in mind. So I'm gonna use my left leg first, which for me is this leg here. I'm gonna step, not jump, step, and then can I stay balanced? So step, and then nice and quiet. I'll show you what that looks like from the side. So I'm still on my left leg, I'm gonna step, then nice and quiet. Remember we're doing those top and drops and we throw our hips back? That's the same thing we do here. So last one for me on my left hand side before we get into our movement challenge. So step, and then it's gonna be nice and quiet when you land. Step, and hold, textbook. Okay, now we're gonna swap over and do our right leg. Remember, the higher this is, the harder it's gonna be. So if you wanna make it harder, you can jump a little bit, if you want to make it easier, then use something lower down to the ground. Right, I'm going to step. This is my right leg. And down. Who can do it without any wobbly knees? If you're looking a little bit like it's a new dance move, then see if you can be a little bit more stable when you land. So step. And make sure those hips are going back. Okay, last one before our movement challenge. Step and hold. Excellent, okay. Now, for today's movement challenge, we're gonna need the shoes we had at the start. So what I need you to do is make sure that the shoes are far enough apart for your foot to land. And what we're gonna do is you're going to set a timer or have mum and dad time you for 30 seconds. Now, each time that your foot lands, is one point. However, you cannot jump until you have showed that you have come to a complete stop on one foot. So you're not, it's not about boing, 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 boing. It's hop, hold until you're at a stop, and then carry on. So mum and dad, you need to be the referees of this one, make sure there's no cheating. But each time I hop, so for example, if I'm here and I hop and I'm completely still, then I can go again. So that's one, completely still, that's two, completely still, that's three. Now, I'm gonna introduce a couple of levels to this just to make sure everyone can do it. So level one is 
if I go from one foot to the other. So if I'm here, and then I'm here, that's completely still, that's fine. And that would be level one, where you're using opposite leg each time. Level two, I'm gonna use my left leg when I'm going towards my right, so it's always opposites. So level two is my left leg to come towards my right. Again, something like that, that doesn't count because I fell over. So level two is using my left leg to come towards my right and using my right leg to come towards my left. Not bouncing like I just did there, come to a complete stop. Level three is you're staying on the same leg the whole time. So quick recap, level one, you go left to right, right to left. Level two, you go left leg to come this way, right leg to come this way. That'll just be what probably what feels natural. And level three is you stay on that same leg for each time. So you're gonna get a point for each time you manage to hold your pop. And make sure you tag Calisthenics Kids in your efforts. I'm gonna have a go, and I'm gonna go for level two. I'm gonna give myself three seconds to start, but here's my timer so you know what my score is. Again, I know that's reflecting off the sun, so you'll just have to take my word for it, but I have put an end noise on it. Okay, so three seconds for me to get in position. Two, one, off we go. One, and I'm still. Two, three, so that stillness is important. Four, and then I'm gonna go five, six, oh, just about terrible placement of the foot. Seven, make sure you're nice and still. Eight, mum and dad, making sure there's no cheating going on. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oh, 14. I'm not gonna give myself the last one. So I got 14, how many did you get? That was Calisthenics Kids, lesson number 26. We are four from the end, trying to build strength, confidence, and movement skill in children. If you like that, please share it with your friends, and I'll catch you again in the next video.